Hey everybody, this is Jaffe coming at you. I am currently on my way out to Issaquah. As you may notice, the view is a little bit different directly in front of me. I ended up trading my NC700 XT for a bike that's a little bit more my style. And my style happens to be a cruiser. And this cruiser happens to be a 2015 Honda Shadow Phantom. Now, <clears throat> hopefully with this video I'll show you, I'll remember to show a little bit of uh, footage of the bike. It's a lot more stripped down. It doesn't have as many features as that NC700. It also is not an automatic, which is just fine with me. Uh, has the V-twin as opposed to the uh, the uh, parallel twin and uh, I mean it's a Honda Shadow it's basically the same bike as all the other Shadow 750s the Aero, the Spirit, all that stuff just looks different um, but I like the look out of it it's all black uh, matte black and shiny black the only chrome on it really is the mirrors and the exhaust the engine is blacked out uh, it sits a lot lower uh, that's for true for true does that it sits a lot lower <laughs> um, <clears throat> I don't know it's just a little bit it's just what I like more uh, it's not as comfortable well, it's comfortable for me it's not the upright riding position it's got foot forward all that kind of stuff um, so anyway, I am on my way out to I-90 because <laughs> they screwed up my paperwork. It was an honest mistake, but they felt so bad about it that they are giving me some free shit. <clears throat> and, uh, so I am headed out there to pick it up. Now... What I've opted for is to get some uh, warm weather or some heated liners. That way I don't have to wear all the big bulky um, clothes uh, all the time. When I'm just run, running around town and stuff, I can have the liners and then just plug them in if I, if I need that extra little bit of kick of warmth. But instead of loading myself up. <clears throat> anyway. Um... So, I'm on my way for that. I ordered some saddle bags specifically for this bike from Viking Bags. Those are on the way. They should be here next week. So, yeah, this, this uh, definitely doesn't have the storage the NC700 had. That NC700's frunk was um, pretty spectacular to have all that gear stored right in here in the front. Um, it was very convenient. Uh, and then I also had the panniers and a trunk on it. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, it, it almost 80 liters of gear I could put, or 80, 80 liters of stuff I could fill up. So it was, uh, it was very, very nice and convenient. I won't have as much storage on this bike, and I'm okay with that. Um, you know keeps me from taking a whole bunch of shit all the time <laughs> so uh, anyway <clears throat> so far I love it it doesn't handle like that NC 700 does that NC 700 I could top over everywhere which way that I needed to this isn't as maneuverable but um, I mean it's a solid bike it's not it's just a different style you know cruisers aren't meant to be doing this so much so but again it's more my style it's more who I am and that's what's important right you got to ride what you're comfortable with what makes you feel good that's why we buy the cars we do right I mean sometimes it's because of affordability but you know 
buy a truck because we like a truck. We buy a car because we like a car. We buy a sports car, you know. So. I think this tops out on the speed. It, it It's only a five speed, so it winds up a little bit more than that NC700. That NC700 uh, was a six speed. And so it would stay low p RPM uh, on the higher speeds. Uh, I think top speed on this bike is about 100 miles an hour, which I don't need to be going 100 miles an hour on this bike. I can do 70 just fine. Uh, it doesn't have the uh, the little bit of extra oomph uh, that the NC700 had uh, when I'm at 70, 80 miles an hour. And I think, I, I don't know why, I don't know if that parallel twin gives it a little bit more power or, or what, but either way, I mean, it's fine. Oh yeah, I'm on the windy fucking bridge. <laughs> So I don't know if you can hear the motor. You probably can't hear the motor. It's it's wound up pretty high and we're at 65 miles an hour. Um, not a big deal, you know. It is what it is, but again, I love it. I love it. I need to adjust the suspension, tighten it up just a little bit. It's a little bit loose for my fat butt. But other than that, it's good. You know, I don't have a fairing on here. That NC700 had the windshield and a little bit of a fairing. And uh, when I first got this, it was kind of a concern. I was like, uh, you know, what's it gonna be like riding without a windshield, et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, sorry, dude, you got over the same time I did. And, uh, So I thought about getting a little bullet fairing for this, but you know, until I start riding more distance on it, uh, right now I think it's just fine. Without without it, you know, I'm getting a, I'm getting a little I'm getting hit with the wind, of course, but it's not that bad. And again, I I'm mostly in town, especially for the winter. I'm mostly going to be in town, uh, riding around, and so I'm not going to get buffeted with as much wind um, you know I'm hoping to make this one of my last trips out to Issaquah for this season just because um, you know it's this this trip out here uh, east I-90 or east of Seattle at least you start getting a lot of snow and uh, you know we don't really want that. Plus it's windy out here. It's gonna get worse. I'm about to cross a part of the bridge on the other side of Mercer Island that always knocks me around a bit when it's uh, when it's weather like this, so that'll be that's gonna be fun. But all good. All good. So yeah, I'll look at one again one of those bullet fairings. I bet it'll help. For, for when I'm moving around, like, coming out places like this, or when I, you know, I start going camping and all that stuff. But for now, those fairings, they're about $150, which is fine. I get it, right? But you can't, you can't uh, install the fairing without their special kit, and the kit itself is $150. So, <laughs> isn't that convenient? So $300 for a little fairing on this bike. The good thing about that, the kit that they have though, is it's a quick lock. So you can unlock the fairing and pop it right off. So when you don't need it on there, which will be good. Um, you know, so. And here we are out coming out to exit 17. Getting ready to go to the old I-90 Motorsports. Uh, pulling that balaclava out of the way. Jeez, I don't know why I didn't do that earlier, but. 
course we've got a little bit of rain out here it's more fog than anything kind of a mist but it is what it is still and this time instead of being an idiot and saying oh I'll be all right I actually put on my rain pants I didn't put on my uh, my over pants which are whoa which are waterproof um, and I didn't put those on because I was coming out to try these liners on and I just didn't want to have all that crap to deal with um, but the ride out here was a little cold because rain pants are not <laughs> they're not warm so So I'm just leaving uh, the motorsports and uh, I got uh, kind of sweet. The, I got the the liners. The pants are on order, but uh, the I got the liners, the heat controller, and they threw in a tank bag, a tail bag, not a tank bag, but a tail bag for me. That was pretty sweet. Got a little extra storage on the bike <clears throat> that pops off if I don't need it. So, so that'll be a little bit convenient. Other than that, just heading back to Seattle. Got to get back to work. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, and then I got trivia tonight. Woo hoo!